Okay. So we're asked to find the initial amount of water. Just by looking at the graph, we know it's going to be here. Why do I know that that's the point I'm looking for? What is an initial amount again? The y-intercept. Okay, so I know the point is going to be located here. Can you just guess what that point is from the graph? No. You need to calculate it, okay? So one way to do this, right? In our equation, this is a linear equation. What's what is the equation for a line? Y equals in the equation y equals mx plus b, which variable represents the initial value? Which variable is the y intercept? Claire? B. This is the y intercept. What does m represent? This is the slope of the line. Shh. Just from the graph, we don't actually, we're not told what the slope is. We can calculate it. But we are given a point, which is x and y, right? Yeah. What is a, one of the coordinates they give you? Phil? What is one of the coordinates? Yep. 20 and 20, 45,000. We're actually given another point right here. What are, where is this point located? 70, 0. Okay, so we do have an x and a y. From this graph, can we find the slope? Can we calculate m? Okay, Christine, how do you find the slope of a line? m equals y2. Good. Okay, so let's call this x1, y1, and we'll call this x2, y2. Okay, so y2 is 0 minus y1 is 45,000 over, what's my x2? Five, four, five, 70 zero, zero. minus 20. 20. Okay. Zero so take away 45,000 is negative 45,000, and what's 70 take away 20? 50. Okay. Negative 45,000 over. What's negative 45,000 divided by a positive is negative what? It's easier to work with if we simplify it. So the slope of this line is negative. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is the slope decreasing? The line, de okay. Negative 900. Do you want to, do you want to work with this coordinate or do you want to plug in this coordinate? Liam. 70, zero. 70, zero. Those are smaller numbers, easier to work with. That means that this point here will be located at zero, right? It's initial, it's a y-intercept, 63,000. So to start, after zero minutes have passed, the amount of water in the pool is 63,000 liters. And then eventually, how long does it take for the water to drain completely? How long did it take? 70, 70 minutes. What is that? An hour and 10, 10 minutes. Okay, so I just went to the next page. Here's our equation of the line. Remember, we're trying to figure out B because the question asks us to find the initial value or the initial amount. We now know that M is negative 900, and we were given two points. We were given an X and a Y. Which coordinate do you want to use? Doesn't matter. Which one do you guys want to work with? Coordinate. Okay, so we're going to be working with the coordinate 70, 0, because that was one of the points on the line. 70 is my x, and y is? Okay, now what? How do I solve for b? Plug it in. So y is? So 0 equals? What's m? Times x. What's x? 70 plus b. What's negative 900? times positive 70. Austin? Yeah, negative 63,000 plus B. Now I want to isolate B. What's the opposite of negative 63,000 becomes? So therefore, the initial amount is equal to how much? 63,000. Oh, it's, sorry, liters. 63,000 liters. Let's go back and look at our graph. 